I get on the 57 bus to Fern Rock Transportation Center. Godfrey Avenue, for Route K. I get on the subway for about 20 minutes. Then I get off at Cecil B. Moore or Susquehanna and walk about 10 minutes or 15 minutes to school. I catch one bus and one train, 27. And um, the Broad Street Line. A wheelchair. Usually I go regional rail sometimes, um, catch the H to Sedgwick and then catch regional rail to Temple and walk from Temple. I take two buses in the morning. One is 58 from my home, then Route 3. I'm Daisha Bagley. My name is Christian Ransom. My name is Carlito Miller. I'm Ashlyn Churian. I mean, actually, I'm Ashlyn Bengalau Putinveri Churian. It's a long name. And I'm here in Carver High School. Carver Engineering and Science. George Washington Carver Engineering and Science. Y'all already know that, though. I'm from India and I came from India in 2016, April. It's been eight or nine months now. And after coming from there, I feel a lot of changes here and the school is so different. Everything seems, it's a different world. And it was really, really surprising for me being here. The commute made me, they took me, the fear out of me to travel in America. So when I came here, I was really like afraid to travel outside because I don't know the places, I don't know the people, how they would be. So after coming to the school, I know how to go in the train, how to travel by the bus, and I know how to read the signboards and how to find a place. I think Either way, whichever neighborhood I was in, I would still end up going here. I think I, my parents really did set me off on the right path and with goals in mind. They were thinking they didn't want me to have the same life as a lot of friends I knew. A lot of, well, yeah, definitely friends I knew. I've seen a lot of people who had successful careers and they could have been ball players, doctors, lawyers. They, they had talent. And I've seen a lot of that get thrown away just because of what they were predisposed to growing up, no fault of their own. And everybody, everybody says it's always a choice, you can do whatever you want to do, but for some, that's not true for everybody. Not everybody has that, that choice. My neighborhood school was not a good school. At least anyway, I had to travel a little bit far from my home. So I thought, I know I'm traveling, so why can't I travel more and come to a better school? He met the dog. He met the dog, yes, that's what's I see my love. Sometimes I'll go sub, but it's sometimes it's like, you know, I don't feel like dealing with a whole bunch of nonsense with people. And especially my mom doesn't like it for me because she knows how I get sometimes. So just avoid any confrontation with anybody. Usually I go regional rail. I felt this was a necessary step to 
reach my goals and go into college. And this was definitely a school that could help me reach those goals. This school is special because your teachers genuinely care about your education. The teachers, a lot of them actually do care. The person who's teaching you has more time to actually work with you on the side on concepts you don't understand. We didn't have an African American history. We didn't, a lot of kids didn't know their own identity. And coming here, our African American teacher, Mr. Milton, he's amazing. He always will set you off on the right path. He will never tell you the wrong information, only facts. And that really did give you an identity of who you are because you can't, you can't begin to form an opinion about anybody else if you don't first know that you're content with yourself and who your what your actual identity is. School shows me, I mean, they have a trust in me. I know that, but normally schools refuse that. They don't know how a student from a different country behaves, how she studies, even though grades show up, they don't know everything, but the teachers here really trust me a lot. It's a comfortable environment. You could walk up to anyone and have, feel free to have a conversation. Even though people do share their differences, everybody's definitely closer. The community is stronger, so it's less of a, I gotta get one up on him. Coming from middle school and going coming here, definitely I could see a switch and how there was no more hand-holding, there wasn't, you know, you have this assignment due, it's, they give it to you, it's up to you if you're going to complete it or not, and if you don't, it's on you. I'm pretty sure in college, I'll be able to balance between my social life and my schoolwork based off my experience here. People don't associate Carver with the neighborhood that it's in, like, we're still a good school, we still have great students, and I don't think our neighborhood affects the students that we acquire either because our students travel from the whole entire city. Success to me, of course, financial stability is a big part of it. Having financial freedom, of course, that's a big part of it. But having ethics and morals is also part of it. If you're not balancing that area, it will really start to show. If I do something really nice and with a lot of effort and everything, if I get the result that I'm expecting, then I'm happy, I'm successful. It's different terms of success you know, that you could use, but I just want to have a nice life and to give my children hopefully things that I didn't have you know being better off than where I am I don't mind what the salary would be but getting a I mean highly uh, getting a job that is good and that has a good reputation I think success is basically just doing what you want to do um, I don't think it has any set limitation on it like I don't think it's making a certain amount of money or doing anything specific, but I feel as though you define your own success. So um, you set a goal in your mind, and when you reach that goal, it's success. <laughs>